The press release. What is it, and why do you need one? If I say the word press release, what comes to mind? For most of us, in the old days of media and marketing, anyway, I would imagine this conjures up images of some kind of printed material, maybe an article or leaflet, that announces your new product or service. It probably contains one or two professional images, contact details, some background information on the company or individuals offering this product or service. It's really just an official statement that a business delivers to members of the media in which they provide information and or make an announcement. Bands, for example, have used press releases all the time in order to promote their new album and concert tour and an effort to draw attention to their music and hopefully gain new fans. The press release is undoubtedly a common feature of a company's public relations toolbox. And in this episode, we're going to be looking at its role in today's highly digitized market. Hi, I'm John Marble, and this is Build Your Difference. This is Build Your Difference, a podcast created by Blue Artists, a brand platform with one goal, to help great visionaries like you build impressive brands. Every month, we'll bring you insightful tips, knowledge, and compelling stories from successful entrepreneurs and the Blue Artist team on how to create and market a winning brand that does more than just launch a new product or service. It starts an ongoing conversation. Because you're not just making a brand, you're making a difference. Let's start building. The press release, in all its forms, has certainly changed over the course of several decades. From the little boy standing on a bustling 1930 street corner, shouting out the latest headlines to the passers-by, to the surge of advertisements during the 1960s, and weekly magazines that have been arriving on our doorsteps ever since, to today's modern media and digital revolution. Going by more recent standards, say within the last 10 to 20 years, traditionally speaking, to make a press release, you'd have printing and design costs to cover. You'd likely need to hire an individual or team. And without question, you'd need to spend considerable time on the phone. And whenever appropriate and possible in person, connecting with journalists, trying to convince them to review your press release and promote it in their magazine or newspaper's next issue. In a classic sense, getting a press release done required a healthy amount of money in the bank to fund it and the constant task of building connections with industry insiders and journalists. But that was before social media. Here, we're going to be looking at six ways having a press release can be of great benefit to your brand and your business. Thanks to the emergence of social media, the cost and time it takes to put a press release together has been, at the very least, cut in half. Unless you're a considerably large company with national or global reach, you probably don't need any actual print material. Instead, you can craft your press release entirely online. With the wide variety of software programs and design templates available, if you have a little patience, time, and an eye for design, you can theoretically create your own design and layout for your press release for a fraction of the cost. Not so sure you have the skills necessary? Well, thanks to the web, you can search a plethora of sites to find affordable freelancers who can assist in crafting an amazing press release. And what could have taken you weeks in the traditional sense to find and hire such talent, thanks to this digital revolution It can now happen in a matter of days, even just hours. And all those days and weeks, spending countless hours chasing down journalists with the fleeting hope that they might be willing to publish your press release, can again be cut in half. With sites like LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter, professionals are just a couple of keystrokes away from building a connection. Yes, social media has given us a new means with which to communicate not just with those in our own communities, our friends and family, 
but all over the world. And businesses continue to scramble to keep up with those changes. Listening to this, you might be wondering, if we have social media, do we even still need the press release in the first place? Well, in a way, yes. Because it's not so much that social media has completely taken the place of a press release. It's just altered our relationship to it. It's like how streaming services have altered how we view movies and programming. We still enjoy watching a good movie or show. That hasn't changed. Only now, instead of driving to the video store, renting a film, and driving home to watch it, We can watch this content on our computers, at home, whenever we want, as often as we want. Indeed, social media has changed the press release into three key functions. A. Investors, customers, and potential employees can use it as a search engine optimization tool. B. Permanent parts of a company's public record can be found online and downloaded for the foreseeable future. And C. They can act as a direct communication tool, allowing your business to deliver unfiltered messages to the masses. Now, a press release can be a vital tool in your company's public relations arsenal, if used effectively. Here are some ways having a press release can benefit your business. For one, it can be an excellent way to announce your new product or service. With the immediacy of social media, you can have that press release drafted and published across all the major social media networks within hours, minutes even. The benefit to this kind of access is that it offers the potential to connect with thousands of journalists. But more on that in a moment. The ease with which you can now write and send out a press release has made it easier for businesses to stay on top of their brand image and use the press release as a way to improve it. 2. Beyond words, press releases can include various kinds of multimedia, such as images, audio, and video. Traditionally speaking, the press releases of yesterday, though, wouldn't allow for such a variety of media, limited merely to text and a couple of printed images. Today's press releases, in contrast, allow you to tell your company's story from a multitude of perspectives. 3. Now, a few moments ago, I spoke about access to journalists. In times past, a press release would find its way strictly to journalists who often held the fate of the release in the palm of their hands. If they felt the press release to be worthy, they would include it in their next publication. If not, it would languish forgotten in a binder somewhere. Now, the reach and longevity of a press release doesn't have to rely solely on the good graces of a journalist or two. Email and social media provide a means for businesses to distribute a press release to millions around the world in an instant. 4. Have you referenced other sources or web pages in your press release? By providing links to these, your company is able to paint an even more detailed picture for your audience about exactly what it is your company does. The more an audience knows about your company, the easier it will be for them to establish trust with your brand. 5. And another benefit that the modern press release offers is the chance to go viral. Let's take a quick break, and when we return, we'll continue with the topic of the press release. 
Making a podcast doesn't have to be difficult. And thanks to Anchor, it no longer is. When you go to anchor.fm, whether on your phone or your computer, you'll find everything you need for your podcast all in one place. And the best part is, it's free. Your podcast will sound great when you record and edit it with Anchor's creation tools. Anchor can even help you earn money from your podcast with no minimum listenership required. Don't wait. Download the Anchor app today or go to anchor.fm forward slash start. Welcome back, everyone. We're talking about the press release. Remember, in the old days, for the information about your brand to reach an audience by way of your press release, they would often need to buy the media on which it was printed. A newspaper or magazine, for example. This meant the spread of your brand's message was limited as to how far and how fast it moved through the public space. Having your press release online, however, allows people to share it with each other across the web, across all the social media networks, until it and your brand become viral. In today's world, this kind of buzz can happen in a matter of hours. It speaks to the portability and convenience that today's technology offers us. Six. Take search engine optimization, for instance. Using specific keywords that relate to your business, you can craft a press release that enables people to easily access information about your company through their search engine. Using this tactic, you can streamline building that relationship with a new potential customer or client as they come to know your brand with greater ease and speed. 15 to 20 years prior, in some cases even just 10 years prior, unless you could afford a robust advertising campaign, your business would have had to rely strictly on the slow-moving trickle-down of word of mouth. So, should your business be using a press release? In short, absolutely. As when done right and effectively, They can increase brand awareness, drive traffic, and provide fuel for audience engagement. So there you have it. At least six ways having a press release can greatly benefit your business and your brand. Social media and this digital revolution we are living in may make it seem as though the day of the press release is long behind us. But that couldn't be further from the truth. Again, Modern media hasn't killed the press release. But instead, it's changed our relationship to it and how we can effectively use it to spread our message, reach our customers, spark that interest, and hopefully, engagement. So don't think of social media as the death knell for the press release, but rather as a new means to use and distribute it. Are you a new business or does your current business have a new product or service that it's launching? If so, would you like to craft an effective press release that's sure to garner attention and enhance brand awareness? but feeling a bit lost with the whole process? Then please reach out to Blue Artists. Our team of experts can help you design and strategically deliver a winning press release that will put your business on the path to greater brand awareness and customer engagement, both locally and globally. Contact Blue Artists today and let us help introduce you, your brand, and the product or service you provide to the world. I'm John Marble, and this has been Build Your Difference.
Thanks for listening to this episode of Build Your Difference. If you'd like to learn more about how Blue Artists can help you develop a distinguished brand that inspires and engages a growing audience, then please visit us at www.blue-artists.com and be sure and subscribe to our monthly podcast for the latest tips and trends in brand development and marketing. And remember, you're not just making a brand, you're making a difference. Start building yours today 